What's up friends? Today we're back with the X106. I want to talk about it for a few seconds and just why I've enjoyed using this camera and why it's pretty much my everyday camera. It's been in my pocket every day since I've owned it. It goes everywhere with me. Now, as most of you know, I'm primarily a Sony videographer. So most of my cameras look like this. Fully rigged up with a battery, with a microphone, with a monitor, with a lens, with a this, with a that. And this is set up and ready for professional use pretty much at all times because most days that's what I'm shooting on. My other Sony cameras, say like this other a7S III, has a tripod plate, has a cage, has a 24 to 70 on it. It's still a rather large camera. And who knows if it has proper cards in it and the cards that are in it probably have client footage on them that I just don't want to dub over. And so that's been kind of my dilemma over the last couple of years. You know that channel, all I want is the perfect camera. Yeah, camera conspiracies, love them. But I go through the same thing. All I'm looking for is the perfect camera for every situation. And in my professional work, this right here has pretty much been my my perfect camera for all of my professional work. It's set up for handheld shooting. I've got a monitor here. I've got on-camera audio. I've got everything. This is just a fantastic wedding day rig and any sort of commercial videography setups that I can get my hands on. This right here, the perfect camera for my professional work. However, the other thing that you don't really consider is this is equally a hobby as it is a business. And when it comes to the hobby side and it comes to, I don't know, the fact that I have a family that I love to take photos of and the fact that I have absolutely no Lightroom workflow, that's where the X106 has been absolutely my best friend and another perfect camera. You see, here's how I am. I do not know photography very well. Sure, I know the exposure triangle. Sure, I know how to properly expose an image. And sure, I know how to use leading lines and get good framing. But as far as a workflow when it comes to Lightroom or a workflow when it comes to editing photos, I am terrible at it. And like, not even that I'm terrible at it, it's just I don't wanna have to take the time to learn photo editing. Sure, I've got my workflows for video. I've got my workflows for color. Even this video right here is filmed in S-Log 2, I think. And then I've got my LUTs and my things. And for video, I know color like the back of my hand. For photo, I don't know color very well. And that's where the X106 has been absolutely shining because number one, it's small, it's lightweight, it's carryable, it's pocketable. It doesn't look super intimidating when you carry it around. And number two is that I don't have to color any photos. I can drop JPEGs straight to my phone that look incredible, that people ask all the time, oh my gosh, do you have a preset for this? Was this a, did you, like, was this taken on a, like people ask me all the time, like, how did you color these? And I just get to say, hey, I didn't. How much fun is that? So. One of the things with the X106 that I'm, yeah, that's basically the main things that I love right there. The fact that it's lightweight, the fact that it's pocketable, and the fact that with this um, secondary, with the USB-C charging, I've never taken the battery out of this camera since I bought it. I simply just plug it into a USB-C charger some nights, charge it up, and then also the same with the SD card. I've actually never taken the SD card out of the camera because when I um, put it in there originally, I put a 128 gig card in there and I just transferred all the JPEGs directly to my phone. So I don't have to worry about mixing up my SD cards with client footage or which cards are professional, which cards are not, which like which batteries are professional, which are not. Is this camera set up for professional recording or is it ready to go as a family camera? Because even something like this Sony a7S, although it is stripped down and there is no um, full rig on it, this is still not ready to run around and take family photos at the park with. It's still got a cage, it's still got a tripod plate, it's still got this 24 to 70, which is not the best photo lens. There would be still things there.
However, with the X100 6 sitting on my desk, anytime we run to the park, anytime we run out to go do something fun with the family, I know that I can just grab the X100 6, it's ready to roll, it's ready for photos. I don't ever have to format the card or delete anything because the card is big enough to hold a million JPEGs on it, and I can just transfer my favorite ones to my phone. So, this is the X100 6. I'm a Sony videographer. I love this camera. It's been so much fun to have in my hands, and this is why I'm having it as an everyday camera. It, it's special to me to have separate things for both work and professional, or professional and work versus personal and family life. It keeps things separated. It keeps workflow easy. I'm never confused in my brain about is this work, is this play, and um, yeah. So. Cheers to um, never having to break this rig down ever again to go take fun photos of my family. Or cheers to um, just always being able to snag the X106, run around, and have a great time with it. So that's why the X106 has been my favorite camera over the last couple weeks. Lots of family photos, great little vacation camera, great camera to just take around town, take photos of my son. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. I know this is just kind of a general overview, but I just wanted to share on how I'm using the X106 and how different that is from a lot of other people I've seen online and how they're using it. Some Fuji users are using this as a professional photography camera. Some are just keeping it as a family cam. I know even Jason Vaughn's out there videoing everything with it. I don't even know how to turn the camera into video mode, to be honest, but we'll get to that a different day. So if you liked this video, I am on a mission here to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. It's a lofty goal. It's a crazy goal, but I'm just going to throw it out there into the universe and see if it happens because that's my goal. We're going to work really hard at providing fantastic content for you guys over the next probably eight months of 2024. And then, um, yeah, so stick along. I would love to have you as a subscriber on this channel. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. See ya.